Nico, it's your cousin. Why don't you take me bowling? Because they've replaced it with a Matalans. A local member of the community has told me about the impending closure of Go Bowling in Fairham. It's set to become a Matalan. But I'm not sure how we're meant to go bowling in there. I've tried and the ball just bounces off the clothes racks and eventually the security guard goes and tells you to sit by CEX whilst he phones your mum. I've made a pledge to protect activities for young people and I won't let this go without speaking out. A bowling alley is not just a regular business. If you're under 18 and you can't drink yet, there's very few places in Fairham you can go. You could perhaps go to Soccer City, the cinema and go bowling, but that's about it. If we took away the bowling alley, what kind of a message does that give to young people? I myself have been to more mid noughties birthday bowling parties than you've had hot dinners. It's a part of growing up in Fairham. It's also a great place to take a girl on a first date because it's cheap and it hints at a sense of adventure. And it's not just that. Professional and hobbyist bowlers use go bowling for tournaments and to practice. So it's not as though you're just getting rid of a kid's playground if that wasn't bad enough. You're getting rid of a place of work and a place to unwind. I myself play a lot of air hockey, so that part of the building is crucial for me. Now obviously there are some financial problems to sort out, but the key part is maintaining the unit for the leisure industry. If it falls to retail, then Fairham loses a part of what makes it unique. If you agree, contact the council, your local parliamentary candidates, and spread the message. This is one issue we must put the barriers up for. There's no time to spare. I just wanted to make this little bit separate as I don't want to steal the spotlight from a great cause. My name is Harvey Hines and I'm standing as an independent candidate in Fairham. I have pledged to protect and increase the amount of activities for young people in Fairham. Vote for me on May the 7th and I will work hard to keep our bowling alley open. Don't look back in hindsight, look forward in hindsight.